So, Janet, 17 years old. Cliff Richard, 44 years old. Right. It's a love song. Okay, it's called... Two to the Power of Love. Two to the Power of Love, yeah. It's a, ro- it's a, romantic, <laughs> it's a romantic song, isn't it? Two to the Power of Love. It's a, a mix, mix mash of sort of uh, whatever you call them, metaphors. But um, so it's, it's an odd one. It's an odd one, isn't it? It's a strange combo, but uh, you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no words. Oi. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, what I've learned today by watching this Janet D- Jackson documentary mm. is that she had zero creative control at this point. This is her second album. Mm. And at the moment, she's being managed by who other than Joe Jackson, mm. the, the patriarch. Yeah. Um, he's already lost his sons. They've already sacked him. So right. now all, all his attention is on little Janet, and she's only 17, and she's already done one album of kind of quite tame, teeny bopper kind of pop. And this is her second album, and she doesn't want to be doing it, really. She doesn't want to be doing it the way that um, old Papa Joe has taken her. God. And he's been in charge for her whole career so far. So far. And he's also, just recently, he's also put her on um, Fame. She was in Fame, the TV series, around this time. Right. He sorted that out. She didn't want to do it. Mm. So he's basically in control pushing her around, doing all the things that she doesn't really want to do. And she needs to do something to get out of this situation. Mm. So what does she do? A duet with Cliff Richard. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe, maybe a a duet with Cliff Richard pushed her to, uh, to do what she did. She basically... (laughs) She basically ran off and got married to Cliff Richard. to to James Debarge from Debarge the uh, the pop group. Do you know Debarge? Do you remember Debarge? Debarge, no. Debarge. <laughs> they did a very big song. I can't remember what it's called. Um, they had a it. they had a, like. They had like a Michael Jackson kind of soft voiced lead vocalist. They were very much like the Jacksons. But a little bit later. Okay. Uh, rhythm of the Night. That's DeBarge, yeah. What? So James DeBarge was in DeBarge. Okay. And it was a family band. But it was okay. also a family band from a an abusive father figure background. Well, weren't they all, though, in those days? For God's sake. It's fucking nuts. All these fucking pop groups with these little kids and these... Oh, it's like they had kids just to groom them into being pop kids and abusing well, them and then, yeah, God. But it's a, I mean, it's a, hard, it's, a, it's a hard way to bring up your kid, surely. Yeah, horrible. It's just the opposite of actually properly bringing up a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's the opposite. That's... Well, I, guess, I mean, you have to. You're, you're with them all. You're with them all the time. But you're with them all the time. And you're like, oh, so you're kind of looking after them, but you're putting them in, in all all sorts of dangerous situations. Exactly, which is supposed to be the op- is which is the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, right there, there you go. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. There we go. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> so Janet has um. She's done this album, this is, and she's like, she's upset because Joe even got to pick the album cover, and she wasn't happy about that. Mm. She's, she's, she's uh, and he must, he must have picked Cliff. He must have picked Cliff. Okay. Well, I mean, you would. It's would you? Commer- well, it's a commercial um... failure. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm sure it probably is a commercial failure. Well, it was only released in UK and Europe. 
So okay. you um, can see, kind of so, see a bit of logic there. Okay. Because Cliff wasn't big in the US, was he? Did Cliff ever make it? Did he ever break America? I have no idea, but probably not. Mm. You're going to no. tell me. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. Okay. Did you look at the the um, the cover for this? The the actual physical yeah. <laughs> front cover of it, and it's just like so. You got Janet from a promo shot from the album, just a, an extra promo shot that they didn't use somewhere else, or maybe did use somewhere else, bigger or smaller. And it's just been like in the corner, and then it's got a picture of Cliff Richard, like. Like it looks like a candid kind of I don't know like a paparazzi shot like a staged paparazzi shot or something, and it's like it's in front of a hedge just like looking off to one side. We get that they're not lovers; they're completely mm. you know even though they're singing yeah. a romantic song. But why are they been made to look that they don't even exist in the same world? It's just bizarre, like a bizarre idea to just like stick those two pictures on the uh, cover. And they have no relation to each other whatsoever. Yeah, that's it's a bad just, idea that's gone wrong, and then and it keeps it. getting worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, do you know who produced this? No, Giorgio Moroder. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Can you can you hear it? No, not really. I mean, uh, actually, perhaps. There is a sort of like professionality to it. There's a this. This is during like his what you know, like his inbox must have been so full. I know that he did so much stuff, didn't he? he did so See, much shit. It just around this time he was doing like half the Flashdance soundtrack. He did the Scarface soundtrack, Electric Dreams soundtrack, Never Ending Story. This is all the same year. Yeah, like he's just doing fucking sh- loads of shit. So he maybe he's just got an intern that kind of turned up and you know put on a beard and just kind of yeah. Here's a sort of like list of the knobs and what. Here's the settings. Sort of like, here's the settings. <laughs> put them on. And then leave. here's a, a Polaroid. Um, get the the engineer to do the rest. Fucking hell! It's it's it's, it's a fucking weird decision. I mean, uh, yeah. I think it might all go back to Cliff Richards' so uh, duet with. Olivia Newton-John, which was from Xanadu. So that was like a few years ago in the mm. eight, uh, early 80s, like a couple of years before. So, and that was a bit of a, a bit of a hit, I suppose. So maybe it was that. But I don't know. I, I think it might just be fucking um, Joe, Joe Jackson, just thinking, I li- maybe he likes Cliff Richard. <laughs> Probably. Probably just likes... Couldn't Richard. find anything to confirm that. <laughs> Probably trying to get into the English market. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that would yeah. be... But, oh, but... and he's seen... He's seen... Um, oh, it's the Paul McCartney. This girl is mine, isn't it? That's that's what it is. Janet can do it with someone that's a bit like Paul McCartney. Oh, exactly, Cliff Richard. Exactly, yes. Just trying to, like... Yeah, following uh, Michael's footsteps. Probably that. Yeah. But at the same time, as this was all happening, Janet has eloped with James DeBarge. Um, right. in, the, in the same month that this single is released, so possibly knowing that a Cliff Richards single was coming out with her name on it, she just lost her fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> and did she ever make more music with Joe Jackson? No, she sacked him. She was able to sack him. Good and for her. Then, she, then she went on to work with the same producers that did Scream. Okay. She did the song On Fame with a more age-appropriate duet partner and that was probably to do with the story, so it made sense. Mm. But I don't know what was released first and I don't know what was thought about first. I don't know if it was designed to be a song for the TV show or for her... Uh, Album or whatever, but it's just a strange one, isn't it? <laughs> it's a real bizarre one. I, I mean, he's already old by the Cliff. Point. Well, what was Cliff yeah. doing around this time? But he'd done a couple of duets recently. He'd done the one with Phil Everly, so it was a rocker. Mm. Um, oh, and then he did a God Squad duet with Sheila Walsh called Drifting, which is 
really good actually it's, it's mm. symphy and um <laughs> kind of it's really nice it's like a synth ballad so yeah cliff is in pretty good form right now okay he will get into better form because we're going to follow him to the next one aren't we